So one more thing you guys will deal a lot with when you're in the Philippines here is these stray dogs. They're everywhere. Like, I mean, like, look down there. You can see they're all the same breed and everything. I don't know if you guys can really see it. I can see it, but maybe you guys can't. But, uh, yeah, so there's a lot of stray dogs. There's one, two, three, four, and they all look the same, too. So, uh, these are the street dogs. Gotta be careful of them. Um, some of them have rabies and stuff like that, so you just gotta be careful. Just don't, when you guys get here, just don't go up and pet one. All right, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, what's up guys? It's Dave with my Philippine Paradise. But hey guys, I'm just sitting in here waiting right now. We're waiting for the water to get filled because what we do, uh, what you do here in the Philippines is you get um, water. You don't drink the water out of the tap. It's very bad for you. But anyways, um, so what we do is we get these, uh, I think they're like five gallon jugs filled up. And let's see if we can see real quick. I don't know if you guys can see out there or not. But yeah, so we get these five gallon jugs filled. I think it's like 20 pesos a five gallon jug. So about five, five pesos a gallon. So we get these filled up and they usually last about a half a week. I get about five of them filled because we drink a lot of water. Um, and the baby, whenever the baby takes a bath, we use the uh, filtered water as well. But um, so I'm gonna talk right now really quick. Hopefully I can get through this by the time um, all the water is filled. If not, then I'll continue it when I get back home. But I really wanna talk about the problem with, how do I say this, the problem with expat budgets all right so the way i live is different from like say a vlogger like or a vlogger like uh peter vandiver right or there's a difference between me and christopher lane there's a difference between me and rike and me and my philippine dreams so there's a difference between all of us and the lifestyles that we live and the problem with getting your 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 general sense of how you're gonna live here in the Philippines and how much it's gonna cost you really doesn't work out. So like you have a guy like Barry Jordan, right? He's living off of $300 a month uh, because of his social security disability, but he's a whole nother nut case to talk about. But anyways, uh, anyways, these Philippine, so like Christopher Lane, he, he, he lives off of a certain budget a month. It's way lower than I live off of. Um, and then you have people like, uh, like my Philippine dreams and Enrique they live off a total different budget than I do I run a split type aircon 24 hours a day seven days a week I run my um, my air conditioner in my um, room in my bedroom 24 hours a day seven days a week and then in my office I have a portable air conditioner that runs you know at least 16 hours a day excuse me and then we have a washer and dryer we have all the lights going and everything like that. So my my personal um, electric bill ranges between 11,000 pesos a month to 16,000 pesos a month. So there's a big difference there, right? So a lot of uh, a lot of expats live off of a 4,000 peso budget on their on the electric. So what I think I'm going to do is just to give you guys an overview of my uh, monthly budget um, because we have cell phones. Each of us has a cell phone. Um, our internet and we get a hundred megabytes per second internet so we have pretty good internet but um, what I will do is I will give you a a pretty much of a rundown of what I pay each month all right guys until next time be safe if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe make sure you like the video and just go ahead and leave a comment all right until next time guys they're loading up my car that's why <laughs>